difference can pro provide a boost to the fuel economy at minimal cost to the OEM. Yeah. So it's an attractive uh, part of the solution. <coughs> Many of you will be familiar with the Strive curve. So this is the relationship between friction coefficients and a function of well viscosity. See that uh, in a metal contact, uh, in the boundary lubrication regime, friction, friction modifiers can be helpful in reducing uh, frictional losses and improving fuel economy. On the right hand side of the hydrodynamic regime, it's viscosity and viscosity modifiers that can help with uh, reducing the viscosity over a temperature range and improving fuel economy. And that's why my focus and our team. simple approach, which has been used widely in the industry, is to reduce viscosity rate, to go down to just lower and lower viscosity levels. But there's a limit to how far you can go. Um, there's always that uh, tension between reducing viscosity to improve fuel economy and the threat of uh, losing your job, lubricating your belt, and when it's starting to, to step in. An additional approach to Reducing viscosity is to um, design a system where you can reduce viscosity at lower temperatures while maintaining a, a, an HDHS at a high temperature uh, that is acceptable to maintain a good, a good lubricating film at uh, high temperature. So, this was our design challenge. We wanted to make a viscosity modifying. Viscosity modifying disadvantages and they can have extremely high treatments in 